Hey, hey guys, we're back. We're back uh, again. Second part of our uh, our series on the the DC 3D books that came out recently. Uh, just to reiterate, DC just uh, a little while ago came out with a series of I think what was it 24 books, Mike? 24 books in one month. 24 books in one month, basically origin stories for a lot of the villains of the DC universe. And uh, we went through some of the books in the first episode, so we're going to try and get through the rest of them now. So first of all, Mike, what are we looking at here? What what book's this? This is Poison Ivy. Uh, I really like the backstory of this one. Uh, now, this is a she. A, she's a Batman villain, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she is. Now uh, I was I was, I was no, we were talking before about the price of these books. The pricing of these books, yeah. I wanted to mention that too. Uh, there's two sites that we'd like to visit. I don't know if you guys like to visit it too. Uh, we list our stuff on um, Comic Book Realm, but another site that we'd like to uh, uh, visit, and I'd like to put my books on it, but they 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 charge for it, which is called Comic Book. Uh, what is it called? Comicbookcollector.com. Yeah, com yeah. Comicbookcollector.com. Uh, there is a difference in pricing, and I'm wondering if uh, the realm I know is in U.S. dollars. Possibly that's more of a U.S. site. Perhaps the, the, the other one is is a, a Canadian site, and you see the difference. Mm -hmm. And the difference would probably be because of the market. Like, different cities, you're going to have more of these books, and or in Canada, you're going to have less of these books than you would in the states and that would be the difference in the price so the, I mean, well, the pricing is different on it's each the site. same with any book you buy right yeah, i yeah. mean there's going to be more books mm -hmm. in one city versus the other and yeah, you know, that's yeah. just the way it is okay so like we've got quite a few books to go through so we're going to go through them quickly just going to show you some of the covers here sure. uh, and again you'll notice the artwork here is all really really well done the time taken to put these together is, is just must be must be justice just, league of america yeah. i like the new series yeah, I'm yeah, reading it, it's, it's good stuff. Shadow Thief. Now, I've always been a collector of some of the older books, so again, a lot of these villains I don't even know. I gotta really? be honest, with you. I don't know who Shadow Thief is. <laughs> so yeah. she must be a newer one within yeah. the last decade or so, yeah. Yeah. perhaps. Oh, we all know who this is. Harley Quinn. There's another one that's highly popular. Again, that was a $30 book. She's got a new series out now. Uh, we're on book two. Uh, from her. Uh, she's basically Marvel's answer to Deadpool. Yeah. She's twisted and funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of girls at the con like to dress up like that and oh, yeah. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah. I'm absolutely okay with that. I see a lot of Carly, Harley Quinns at the Comic Con, at the Fan Expo. Yeah. yeah. Now, you said this one, like the, uh, I guess, like the Joker, this one in the aftermarket's commanding a premium, about 30 bucks, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, so I guess a lot of people like this. Some of these 3D books are a little bit less expensive in the aftermarket. They're all in the aftermarket now, ten, ten dollars and higher. Uh, the most sought-after ones, Harley Quinn, the Batman, are about a thirty dollar if if you can find them. Scarecrow, fantastic cover. Yeah. Scarecrow. Always. Scarecrow. Uh, that is a Batman. Batman villain. Villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Batman's got a lot of nice. best villains, eh? Well, oh, you've, you've been so making good. a book for, what, 50 years, 60 years? 75. 75 I think they years? Just, they just reached 75 years. Unbelievable. Yeah, Batman's uh, been around might be uh, mm -hmm. Detective um, Batman number 27, which is a mega-sized book, is um, basically a celebration of, of that. It's five short stories or six short stories of... Wow. Uh, 75, uh, 75 years, years of Batman. Years of Batman. Batman. Yeah. So what do we got here? Who's this? Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. That would be an uh, enemy of uh, Superman. He's looking pretty buff there. Is that just the armor? Well, you know, it's it's the way people draw them. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Hulk's been drawn different ways, and some are better than others, and that's yeah. one yeah. awesome way. <laughs> so obviously, <clears throat> the covers are fantastic. I'm assuming the inside artwork is just the artwork as good. is great inside, and and I mean, I mean. Some of the uh, stories are a little weaker than others, but mostly they are, are pretty damn good. I, mm. I, I enjoy them. Yeah. And they're all orange. They're all origin stories. Each all one. All of them are origin stories. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Now this next one. Did we not have a Solomon Grundy? 
uh, cover in our first. Uh, was it, there's more than one yeah, song. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Oh, I mean, look at that, eh? but this one's tied to Earth Two, which okay. is um, a, you know, a different series. So, so it's a different story altogether. Different storylines. So yeah. Like I said, they, they they all came out around. Uh, Whatever the series is, 15.2, mm -hmm. so 15, there'd be, there'd be a 16, and somewhere in the middle, they decided to say the origin story of the, uh, the villain. Mm -hmm. So, most of them are around 23, some of these series that started, I mean, the reboots for both Marvel and, um, and DC kind of, I think, lined up to the historical when characters came out, they came out. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. Well, I think in, in, in March, the Fan Expo is coming up. Like I told you before, I'd like to pick up some of these. No, sorry, not the Fan Expo correction. The Comic Con is coming Comic -Con. up in March. And this Comic Con in March is going to be a big one. Uh, I'm not like the Fan Expo where you get 100,000 people. You'll still get about 60,000 at the Fan Expo. So, probably be a good, idea, good, probably a good place for me, anyways, to try and pick up a couple of these books. Um, 24 of them is quite the investment. I'm definitely not going to do that, but I wouldn't mind picking up some of my more favorite ones. We got here. Who is this? Black, Black Adam. Adam. Nice cover. Fantastic cover. And we got one more book to show you here, and that'll conclude everything now. You didn't see all 24. We don't have all 24 here. I only here, bought the 17. There were a 17. few that I passed up. Yeah, I was yeah. there every week. There was four weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. um, there was a few that, for some reason, uh, uh, there was no connection for me to, to buy the cover. Yeah. So yeah. I only got what I liked. And I was uh, and the happy one... to be there at the right time in the right place and mm -hmm. get the ones that I wanted. So out of the 24, these are the 17. I would have liked to have the... Joker's daughter in 3D, but I, uh, you know, as I said, uh, Comic Con first, in March. First come, first serve. And, yeah. uh, it's okay. there. Cool, cool. Okay, well, thanks, thank, thanks, Mike, for dropping by and showing us this absolutely fantastic collection. Like I said, these these things are so cool, and uh, like I said, a lot of great new books out there. It's not all about the uh, old school stuff. A lot of the new books are really fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, if you like it, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, see you next time.